Hey YouTube people and welcome back. SETI have made this amazing announcement that they no longer need any more information in their search for extraterrestrial intelligence. What exactly does that mean? Do they now have a signal from space? So I thought I'd make a film about it, as you do for a YouTube, but YouTube don't like it. More and more of us investigators are turning away from Google and their advertising policy and going to an independent, non-censored channel. In the last few months, hundreds of people have joined me on Patreon for films that are totally independent. No adverts, no censorship, and all your comments unedited. If you value independent research, come and join me on Patreon. Hey, and welcome back, lovely people. How concerned are we about actually contacting an alien civilization? I guess it's important to document the end of the world. If anyone finds this, we really tried. Take cover! Years ago, Stephen Hawking said it's possibly very dangerous to actually make contact with extraterrestrials. And I wonder if he had some inside knowledge into something we don't really know about. The search for ETs using radio signals began in the 60s at this place Green Bank. The question as to whether there is intelligent life elsewhere in space has long fascinated people, but has been properly left to the science fiction writers and uh, other non-scientific groups uh, simply because our technology was not capable of detecting any reasonable manifestation that could be expected from other civilized communities in space. Charles Drake came up with this equation to measure how likely it is that aliens actually even exist. And his answer, yep, life is obviously abundant out there. In the late 1960s, Cambridge University went into lockdown over little green men. Their new radio telescope found a repeating signal. Obviously not a natural phenomenon. When the head of the radio astronomy department looked at the signal, he wrote LGM? little green men. For three days behind locked doors, the Astronomer Royal, the head of University of Cambridge Radio Astronomy Department, considered the possibility that we had been contacted. That they had found an alien signal. Of course, it turned out to be a pulsar and when others were found in different parts of the observable universe, it was obviously some kind of strange, natural phenomenon. Now, the people here say that if they got three signals as exactly spaced as that, it would be very unusual. If they got four, it would be phenomenal. Well, they've had pulses as exactly spaced as that 24 hours of the day since November. And today we have a similar 
dilemma. Mysterious fast radio bursts are turning up in the data. Again, these are very unlikely to be a natural phenomenon. Are they produced by an alien civilization? Who knows? And what I'm about to tell you now, I find a little worrying. SETI, or the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, have actually stopped. In a press release from Berkeley, California, they've just said, we have enough data. What are they trying to tell us? Actually, they're trying to tell us they found nothing and they've changed their policy. Instead of listening out there for alien civilizations, they're now actively sending a signal from us saying, hi, we're here. And this is the image of us they are sending. <laughs> so what will aliens think of that? I certainly hope that they don't come and eat us all. Douglas Vakoch, the SETI Interstellar Message Composition Director, has asked hundreds of people what we should really be sending. But he said any worries about sending a signal is already too late. Because this is what the aliens have been watching. All right, you mutinous, disloyal, computerized half-breed. We'll see about you deserting my ship. Well, now, that's the right interesting story, oh. Oh, how cruel of you to taunt me in my hour of greed. Am I really so bad? My name is Talkie Tina, and I'm beginning to hate you. David Brin, the science writer, asked a very smart question. If they already can see us, why haven't they responded? Or maybe they have. Let me know what you think, because the truth is out there.